Hello, Church of Our Savior. It is Wednesday, December 22nd, Wednesday in the fourth week of Advent. I'm in my office as I record this, and hanging on the wall of my office are a number of icons. Now, as many of you know, icons are not literal depictions of people or events. And while they can display great talent and creativity, they're not primarily works of art. No, icons are meant to be visual pathways into prayer and contemplation, windows, if you will, into heavenly reality. And one of the icons that I really cherish is this icon of the nativity. Now, there are many nativity icons out there that you could find. Some of them are quite elaborate and very beautiful. But what I love about this one is its simplicity. There are no shepherds, no wise men, no angels. You don't see the town of Bethlehem in the background. There's just Jesus there in the middle with Mary and Joseph on either side, a couple of animals behind them, and the star shining in the background. It's so focused, so simple in its message. Love has been born among us. With all the gorgeous music that's been composed about this event, with all the magnificent art that's been created, with all the volumes of books that have been written, it really does come down to this very simple truth. Love has been born among us. The very love of God incarnate in the person of Jesus. We don't live in a very simple world. Uh, in fact, it seems very complicated and complex with lots of difficulties and challenges, lots of problems. And yet, the message of Christmas is that in the midst of all the messiness, love has been born among us. It's like the gospel does not want us to forget the very simplicity of who Jesus is and what Jesus is about. And he shows us that it's in the midst of a very complex and challenging world that we can experience God's love and share God's love. It's easy, I think, to perceive you know, the problems and the difficulties around us as being obstacles to loving. They get in the way, they distract us. And yet the message of the incarnation is that it's the very messiness of the world, all of the problems and difficulties, all the rough edges, that's the medium through which we experience love. That's the medium through which we give love and receive love. The simplicity of that is powerful because it's true whether we're talking about global issues of climate change, racial and economic justice, or whether we're just trying to be kind to that difficult relative. We are here to love, to give love and receive love and grow in our capacity for love. Christmas is a very busy time, uh, and it's a complicated time in the best of circumstances. Lots of details, lots of things happening, and that's made all the more challenging by COVID. So we're dealing with what is always a busy time of year in the midst of a pandemic, and also all the other challenges that are just part of being alive. So there are people who are struggling with illness. There are people who are grieving the loss of loved ones. There are family dynamics that are strained. There are financial stresses, job problems, I and mean, you name it. We, we, all, we all know what it's like to be in this world dealing with all of this stuff. So I want to convey in this message the simple truth. That in the midst of all of this, we're here to love. That everything that we deal with and contend with is a way for us to grow in our capacity for love. Because we are made by love, we're made for love. 
it is Christmas time. Love has been born among us, even among us in this world as it is. It really is as simple as that. I will be back in two weeks with a midweek message. In the meantime, I wish you a Merry Christmas. God loves you. I love you. Peace.